Im Vorfeld des NATO-Gipfels in Vilnius am 11. und 12. Juli hat sich NATO-Generalsekretär Jens Stoltenberg im Élysée-Palast mit Frankreichs Präsident Emmanuel Macron getroffen. Letzterer nutzte die Gelegenheit, um Ungarn und die Türkei aufzufordern, ihre Blockadehaltung zu Schwedens NATO-Beitritt aufzugeben. Auf der Agenda stand auch die Ukraine und ihre zukünftigen Beziehungen zur NATO, ein weiterer Punkt, der auf dem NATO-Gipfel in Vilnius heiß diskutiert werden dürfte. Ukraine's rightful place is in NATO. The words of NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg, who arrived here in Paris for a meeting with French President Emmanuel Macron. Jens Stoltenberg, who has been meeting NATO heads of state in recent weeks. He met the German Chancellor, but also the Dutch Prime Minister, and had a call with the recently re-elected Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan. All that to prepare for a summit in Vilnius, a summit that, according to Estonia's Prime Minister, uh, will unveil a surprise for Ukraine with regards to its membership. It's going to be interesting to see how uh, the next uh, weeks play out. Jens Stoltenberg here in Paris this Wednesday once again uh, talking about the importance of this alliance, the importance of the defense budget for this alliance in each member state and once again reinforcing the need to expedite Sweden's membership after that of Finland's. He reiterated the importance of bringing all these like-minded governments, these like-minded countries together to uh, defend uh, this block in what he described as an increasingly dangerous world. Annelies Borges in Paris for Euronews.